hello and welcome to all students uh, in this lecture we discuss about the convergence and divergence of a series in the previous lecture in the previous lecture we studied about a geometric series and in this lecture we study the convergence and divergence of a given series any other given series okay any given series so these are the points which we are going to study in these series of lectures okay so in this lecture we study about the third point convergence and divergence of series now we investigate the term wise behavior of the convergent series if we are given that the series summation xn n equal to 1 to infinity is convergent can we say can we say about each term of each term xn what can you say about each term xn okay if our series is convergent then what can you say about each term xn of that given series okay we answer each question as follows let us take one theorem theorem says that if the series summation a n n runs from 1 to infinity is convergent then the limit of nth term of that series means limit of a n and n tends to infinity is equal to 0 so that is simple if the series is convergent then the terms or if the series is convergent then the sequence of sequence obtained from the terms of that series that sequence converges to zero see that is very important if the series summation a n is convergent then the sequence obtained from the terms of that series that sequence converges to zero means terms of that sequence approaches to zero becomes closer and closer to zero as n tends to infinity that sequence converges to zero okay or we can say that limit of a n n tends to infinity is zero okay that is way and this is the behavior of terms of this that sequence when that uh, series is convergent so let us we prove this theorem proof we are given that the series summation a n is convergent and we, and we have to prove that limit of a n n tends to infinity is equal to zero so from the given data series summation a n is convergent we can we can say that its sequence of partial sum is convergent okay its sequence of partial sum is convergent consider the nth partial sum s n and n minus 1th partial sum s n minus 1 so here is a quite quite mistake so here must be 1 okay n minus 1 okay so n minus 1 now s n minus 1 of the given series so so what we have considered here we have considered the sequence of partial sums of a given series and and from that sequence we have taken nth term of that sequence s n and n minus 1th term of that sequence uh, s n minus 1 okay so sn will be equal to sn is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 plus a n and what will be the sn minus 1 and it is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot, dot plus a n minus 1 so sn have n terms and sn minus 1 have n minus 1 terms and if we take the subtraction of these two terms 
then what happens sn minus sn minus 1 will be an okay if we take the subtraction then as series summation an is convergent the sequence of partial sum is also convergent and suppose that sequence of partial sum converges to s okay limit of sn means sequence of partial sum limit of sequence of partial sum is equal to s similarly sn minus 1 is a subsequence of sequence of partial sum and that subsequence also converges to s so limit sn minus 1 and tends to infinity is also equal to s now from equation 1 which we have written above uh, from that equation 1 if I take a limit of a n and tends to infinity and it is equal to a n is nothing but uh, s n minus s n minus 1 and the limit of s n and s n minus 1 is same and that same limit is s so s minus s is 0 and what we get here is uh, limit of a n and tends to infinity is equal to 0 so that we have proved therefore the limit of a n and tends to infinity equal to 0 which is required result which is our required result so <clears throat> this result tells us that so whenever summation a n series summation a n is convergent the limit of nth term a n as n tends to infinity is always equal to 0 is always equal to 0 okay so let us write some remarks remark first with every series summation a n two sequences are associated okay with every series two sequences are associated so first sequence is sequence of partial sum s n and the uh, another series uh, another sequence is sequence a n of its terms okay so convergence of summation a n tells us that the sequence of s n is convergent and the sequence a n converges to zero uh, tells us that sequence sn is converges to the sum of series and the limit of sequence a n is zero that is very important okay convergence of summation a n tells us that sequence sn converges to the sum of series and the limit of the sequence a n is zero important next remark remark 2 the convergence of the above theorem need not be true the theorem which we have stated above the convergence of that theorem need not be true need not be true means that is limit a n n tends to infinity equal to 0 does not guarantee convergence of summation a n does not guarantee so whenever limit a n is equal to 0 the series summation a n may or may not be convergent for example the well-known series summation 1 upon n is a divergent series though the limit of a n as n tends to infinity is 0 that is very important counter example now consider the remark number 3 we can use contrapositive of the statement of the theorem of the above theorem to test the divergence of the series as follows so contrapositive statement will be true means if the limit of a n is not equal to 0 then we can say that series summation a n is divergent okay if the limit of a n does not exist or limit of a n is not equal to 0 then the series summation a n n equal to 1 to infinity does not converge means it is divergent so that statement we will use while solving the examples however remember that limit a n equal to 0 does not imply imply that convergence of the series 
remark number 4 from the above remark it follows that for a series summation an for a series summation an limit an is only a necessary condition for its convergence so from the above remark we observe one more remark the for series summation an limit an and tends to infinity is only a necessary condition for its convergence but it is not sufficient condition for the convergence let us take one example discuss the convergence of the series summation n square upon 7 n square plus 5 and let us take let us write the solution and uh, write the an of the given series an equal to n square divided by 7 n square plus 5 and take the limit of that nth term an and limit an n tends to infinity equal to limit n tends to infinity n square divided by 7 n square plus 5 uh, by dividing by n square to numerator and denominator we get the next step equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 7 plus 5 upon n square and it is equal to 1 upon 7 not equal to 0 one upon not equal to 0 means an limit of an not equal to 0 this means that the series is uh, divergent okay the given series is not convergent means it is divergent okay and this is the end of this lecture thank you thank you very much